Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of RL Craft. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. I'm having a good day as always. And behind me, as you guys can see, is a villager breeder. Uh, this was originally something that I found on YouTube by a YouTuber called Some Nuts Guy. So make sure you guys check out his channel. I will link his channel here, probably in the description, or I'll just link it here on the screen. You guys can check that out, but uh, pretty simple, but you guys can check his guide out and learn how to build this because I don't really want to explain it or go over it. It's pretty easy. Uh, this part right here is what I pretty much come up with, just making a funnel. And uh, let me jump up here for just a moment here. So basically what happens is the villagers, they will breed and then the babies will spawn down there at the bottom. Then they'll go into a water stream, which as you can see in the corner, I put some water. And then eventually, once there's enough babies smacking each other, they will eventually end up over here. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good system. It seems to be working really, really well. Um, also, let me jump up here really quickly. Well, if I can get up here, whoa. <laughs> Double jump sometimes gets me, but uh, this basically turns it off. And then this turns it on. So when the uh, lever is activated he will go up higher and then when you want to turn it off as you can see he will go back down on off on and as you can see they're starting to breed again which is really awesome and uh, this is going to save me a lot of time so thank you so much uh, some nuts guy if you ever watch this video which I doubt that you might ever watch my video but uh, if you do thank you so much for building this and making a tutorial about it really appreciate it like i said i will link his youtube channel in the description or i will just link it here on the screen anyways with that said let's go ahead and get into today's episode in today's episode we are going to be hunting some sea serpents and some sirens and maybe if we have time we'll try to take down some dragons as well um as you guys can see i did make one of the heating coils which requires four blaze rods three pieces of cobblestone and one piece of redstone and it is winter time right now so i'm just kind of hanging out here in the base i will probably hang out until winter time is over because i don't really want to go out hunting for stuff if it's going to be cold because i do not have the aussie liner things that's what i want to talk about right now is the aussie liners so as you guys can see it's a type of material uh there is a warming liner material and a cooling liner which is six string and heating goo which is two slime balls and blaze powder potentially i could make these right now and if you look into the cooling liner material this requires string and then uh cooling goo which requires frost powder so therefore we need the frost rods with frost rods <laughs> which i do not have so we're kind of screwed in that aspect so if I really wanted to, I guess I could go to a snowy biome and, you know, try to hunt some mobs at nighttime. But there's actually a problem. That problem is simply this. Look at my armor. It's completely almost gone. So we don't have hardly any durability left on our diamond armor. And that's like the best armor that I've had. And as of right now, I do not have a mending librarian. So that's another thing that I would like to wait on. Hello, sir. It's nice to see that you're fully grown. Um, also, I did forget to mention, I think villagers, when they're little, take about 20 minutes to get to the fully grown stage. So do keep that in mind. Anyways, I'm going to wait out the wet... <laughs> I wish I could talk right this episode. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to wait out the rest of winter. And then we're going to go out hunting. Okay, so I got a couple of things that I want to go over with you guys really quickly here before we get into the action. And that is, remember when I planted some sugar cane out here? Well, it's kind of dead and gone. So uh, that was a derp. Now the uh, water that I had here is now ice. So make sure that you plant the sugar cane in summertime and not right before it's going to be wintertime. <laughs> and also, as you guys can see, there are some ages flying around my base here. And what's happening happening is... When I'm breeding the villagers and getting rid of the ones that aren't any good, the uh, the ages are actually getting mad and they're starting to attack me. So do keep that in mind and be careful because they will just try to wreck your face off. 
But uh, they're not really, oh gosh, they're not really that hard to deal with. Got crazy things happening. <laughs> crazy guys spawning at me. I'm trying to get the heck out of here so I don't die. So yeah, let me get the heck out of here. There we go. Now we're nice and safe. <laughs> this is crazy. Now that I am officially safe in my own base, there are a couple things that I would like to go over with you guys. So right now, I have a tool belt. I just crafted this up a little bit ago. And I also have a belt pouch. Now, if you stick this and this in the anvil, as you can see, enchantment cost is three, and that'll give us three slots because originally when you craft a tool belt, it starts out with two slots. And as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and put that guy back on. If you press R on your keyboard, you'll see a little ring here that says insert. You can actually select a slot or you, know, you can change your weapons out or you can extract them and put them back in your inventory like so. But it's probably better to just insert those in there for right now. Anyways, besides that, I do want to make a diamond bow. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got everything already ready to make it. So go ahead and make one of these here. And uh, okay, we're going to get quality light. So that gives us plus 5% projectile damage, which is cool. So that is a thing. So now we can get rid of this crappy iron strength and longbow. And also, as you guys can see, I do have a lot more librarians here. Um, I will go over that eventually once I get everything that I want. And as you can see, the village breeder is still doing its thing. I might have to feed them some more bread or something. But as you can see, we got another guy over here. It's a cartographer, so I will probably just kill him off. Um, I would recommend that you probably build several of these because it is kind of slow. But if you're just, you know, AFK and in your base for a couple of days or something, then it's probably not a big deal. But uh, it is very slow, guys. I will say that. Anyways, enough of me rambling. I am going to head on out and see if we can find ourselves some sea serpents and some sirens. I bet you guys are ready for some action. So I have spotted a couple sirens over here, but let me go to sleep first. Well, this guy will actually let me. <laughs> I hate those things. They scare me occasionally, you know, but, uh, all right. Now we're ready to go take these guys on. I'm um, also, I do have earplugs on just in case you guys are wondering how they're not pulling me in. Just make yourself earplugs. It's just two buttons and then you put them in the crafting table and it makes the earplugs. I'm um, also, I did add a couple enchants on my boots, uh, wall running protection four, and I'm breaking three. And on my weapon here, I, should have repaired it, but I'm not too worried about that because I still have about a thousand durability. We have sharpness five now, and I'm breaking three on that as well. So, all right, let's go see if we can't kill some sirens. I don't imagine they'll be too hard at this point, but uh, try to make our way over here and see how strong these guys actually are. Ah, uh, yes, the, the annoying singing that I so desperately do not want to hear. I don't know how strong they're going to be, so I'm just going to attack and then kind of like back off. Okay, they're not like too bad, even though they did not hit me. Anyways, when you kill sirens, you get these shiny scales and you get prismarine and you also get uh, prismarine shards. Uh, let me get up here and see if I can't kill this other one. A little bit scared of these guys, but not, not really. Wow, they're not even really that hard at all. I don't know why I ever thought sirens were going to be like super hard, but uh, anyway, with that said, that was relatively, that was really easy, wasn't it? So uh, anyway, I guess I could do a time lapse of just, you know, knocking out some sirens. So why not? Let's do it.
Looky what we have here. It is a sea serpent. Well, let's try to see if we can't take this guy out. Don't really know what to expect. Whoa! <laughs> oh gosh, we gotta be like actually careful. That guy can jump so far out of the water. That's pretty crazy. I don't really want to fight him head on because he will probably kill me, I would imagine. So we're probably going to be here for a little while. <laughs> Trying to kill this guy, but it is what it is. Better safe than sorry, I think. I don't even know if I'm hitting this guy or not. I don't know. Uh, let me come over here to this angle. See if we're hitting it or not. Don't know if I'm hitting it. Kind of looks like I'm hitting it. I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, I hit it that time. Yeah, we should be able to kill this. I just hope he doesn't leap out of the water and, like, hit me in the face and kill me or something crazy. <laughs> wow, is this guy seriously just going to sit here this entire time? I kind of feel bad now killing it like this, but uh, they are a dangerous mob, and I don't want to, you know... I don't want to risk it against this thing, really. Should be dead relatively soon. A couple more arrows, maybe. I don't know. I don't have the greatest arrows, either. We're just using regular arrows. Um, that's probably something that I need to consider in the future is actually getting some decent arrows to attack with. But it would seem this guy is pretty, uh... Oh! Okay. That's what I don't want him to do. Now he just looks like a ballerina jumping up and down. <laughs> that's actually helping me to kill him. So, yeah, you can just keep jumping up and down like that if you want to. Maybe he thinks he's a kangaroo or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what is... What is going on right now? Um, That squid is like... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this thing is just like glitching out or lagging out or what the deal is. My goodness. Hold still so I can shoot you. Okay. How much health does this thing have? My goodness. Must have a lot of health. Whoa. Oh, now he's stuck. Oh, hey, we finally killed it. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we got, uh, what do we get? We got some sea serpent scales. Did I seriously only get one out of that? Like it took that long and I only got one. Wow, the drop rate on that must be pretty terrible. Wait, I do see something over here. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's just an ink sack. What the heck? How's that going to do me any good? Eh, well, I guess we're going to jump back into the time lapse and maybe I will just do sea serpents from now on because we already have 32 shiny scales. That's like, that's more than enough because if you look at shiny scales and everything here, as you can see the tight guardian leggings and all that stuff, it only requires like two for each piece of armor. So, you know, it's not a, it's not a big deal, but let's look up uh tide here. And as you can see, there's different colors. There's the helmet, then there's the chest plate, the leggings, and the boots, and it gives you a set bonus. Um, I've heard speculation that it's really good to have the Tide Guardian pieces with a dragon chest plate, is what I've heard. So but that might be something that I try here in the future once I actually kill some dragons, but I doubt that I'm gonna kill any dragons in today's episode.
So I've been sitting here doing a little bit of math here and uh, it would seem that we need about 20 of these scales from the sea serpents to make a full set of tight guardian armor. So there is actually another sea serpent here that I want to kill, but I'll probably just finish this one off camera. Because as you can see, my inventory is, oh my gosh. Oh no, this isn't happening right now. Okay, don't come back after me, please. That is why sea servants are dangerous. Now I'm in the water with this stupid thing. Oh my God, there's a dragon right there. Oh my, God. this is a bad, bad situation to be in. Uh, I'm gonna hang around here for a second and see if I can just make it over there to that rock. I don't want to get myself killed right here with all this stuff. Sometimes RL craft can do that sometimes. It's like you get all of your stuff going and you get all your kills and all of a sudden you make a mistake and one of the sea serpents actually kills your pet and then knocks you off into the water. But I don't see the sea serpent coming back after me, so that is a good thing. Uh, well, yeah, all right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, head over to this island, probably kill off these sirens, and then I'm going to wait for my mount pet to respawn, then I'll head back home. I'm on my rock again. We're going home, my friends, because I'm on my rock again. <laughs> you know the one thing in this mod pack that I absolutely hate? And it's the fact that when you get thirsty and everything just becomes so blurry that you can't even see in front of your own face. That's when you know life is bad, ladies and gentlemen. That's when you know. And it's now officially the moment that I have been waiting for for the last two days. And that is making the Tide Guardian armor set. So let's see here. Let's just go with this one as a helmet. Um, let's go purple chest plate. I don't think it matters. I'm pretty sure that it does not. And don't worry. I know that it says defense 20. I know that we don't have that yet, but it's okay. And let's go with the uh, red guardian boots. And then finally we need a pair of pants. So let's go with, we still have blue and purple. How about some purple pants here? All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you do not have the requirements to wear this. Darn it. I'm just trolling you guys. Don't worry, I'm going to get the levels and we're going to put this on. <laughs> I just wanted everybody to freak out and be like, oh no, what are you talking about? Oh, boom, look, I got some more levels, guys. <laughs> There we go. 20 defense, ladies and gentlemen. That is one heck of an, of an achievement for me, I will say that. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this set on. And as you guys can see, we now have water breathing. Um, I'm not sure if this counts as the whole set. Does it have to be a... Uh... So, it says provides water breathing, provides strength when wet increasing levels with full set so we have to be wet okay let's see if that indeed does work so let's grab some water here uh i don't want to soak the place down really but uh oh hey what is this guy oh that's just a cartographer what is this guy another cartographer okay anyway let me uh see here okay so we get strength four and we get water breathing so yeah this is pretty awesome um Honestly, though, I will say I miss having two speed rings, but I don't really want to be poisoned. And I don't necessarily like the tool belt that much, so I might swap that out, but I don't know. But anyways, with that said, we are definitely running out of time for this episode. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this episode, oh my goodness, I look absolutely crazy. <laughs> Blue, purple, and red, and it's just, it's chaos, it's craziness. But uh, anyway, if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.